right, who's ready? I, I know I'm not, Jim. We're just days away from an insect invasion that is 17 years in the making. You've got one of them behind you. It's the biggest event of its kind in the entire world, and this region is the only place where you can witness this amazing phenomenon. Eyewitness News reporter Jan Carabeo shows us what's behind all the buzz. Their look with those bulging red eyes is straight out of science fiction. The name, Brood 10 Cicada, is dramatic too. And come mid May, these cicadas will put on a show unlike any other. It's such a fantastic phenomenon because this is the only place in the world this happens. Once every 17 years, and only in this part of the country, Brood 10 periodical cicadas emerge en masse. And Brood 10 is one of the largest broods. We're talking billions of them all at once from the Midwest, east to New York, and south through Washington, D.C. It's peace, love, and music for about two weeks. Periodical cicadas do no harm. They don't bite or sting, and generally don't hurt plants either. They'll just spend two weeks to a month looking for a mate, and they attract their partner through this sweet song. They're all doing it together, upwards of almost maybe 100 decibels, which is, you know, jet plane loud. They won't keep you up at night, though. They stop singing at dusk, and Philadelphia will be largely spared. And this is what this display is. Entomologist Greg Cowper showed us the collection of periodical cicadas at the Academy of Natural Sciences of Drexel University. Since the early 1900s, scientists have only found a few cicadas in Philly, and the experts don't know why. So I think you're going to have to go west or east or south. To, to see them. Right now, most periodical cicadas are about a foot below the surface, still feeding on tree roots. But once the soil warms to 64 degrees, they will tunnel their way to the surface and become part of the biggest emergence of insects in the world, creating quite the buffet, something Greg recalls from their last emergence in 2004. Seagulls were catching them in the air. By June, they'll be gone, only their crunchy shells left behind. And remember, while they're here, yes, they will be loud, but with good reason. Driving a Camaro with your music real loud, hoping that like some women will see you, and you know, you can go to the eatery and get a coffee or a milkshake. These days, you'd call it Netflix and chill. Sit back and relax, enjoy the show. And now, there are even apps that you can use to help scientists track the Brood 10 periodical cicadas, maybe even helping entomologists in Philadelphia find more cicadas in this city. We have that link at CBSPhilly.com. I'm Jan Carabeo for CBS3 Eyewitness News. Did you see those people grabbing I know, with yeah. their fingers? Well, that just you should do that as genius. kids. Only the strong ones survive in the city. The brood 10 cicadas are expected to emerge on May 15th. Some experts say our warming climate is causing the insects to emerge earlier than they have in the past. And the Academy of Natural Sciences is still researching that very issue. Larissa's right. going to have her flip 